Good morning, John. I want to talk today about something that feels a little bit counterintuitive because I have found that it is easier to be honest when I'm struggling than when I'm thriving. And that feels like the opposite of how things used to be. Like, I think a lot of creators are, are pretty honest about their struggles with burnout and mental health, but it seems a little bit countercultural in the spaces I inhabit just to be like working a lot and enjoying it. If ever I talk about like enjoying work, especially when I have a lot of work to do, I can expect to be told by other people that I'm like wrong. Or if it's just a voice in my head, you know, saying that this is unsustainable or it's unhealthy or whatever. I've been doing this for a long time and I have done it in ways that are unhealthy and unsustainable. And I've done it in ways that I don't enjoy. But I also know that I've never really felt like I was thriving if there was no stress in my life. Sometimes to me, stress feels like a hurricane that will tear me out by the roots. But other times, stress feels like a breeze that stretches me and brings me fresh air. And if I didn't have it, things would feel really stagnant. Now, here's another thing I've learned. I cannot set my life up so perfectly that I only ever have the breeze and never the hurricane. But I do think that I was a little bit born to sometimes enjoy like a stronger breeze. There's a lot going on in my life right now. Next week, I'm opening for Rich Hall in Bozeman which is kind of a big deal for me. Then I'm going to be doing a few other things at the Last Best Comedy Fest. You should come if you can. On the 26th, I'm going to be in Youngstown, Ohio, which is kind of near Pittsburgh and kind of near Cleveland and not really near anywhere else. On October 5th, both of us are going to be in San Diego for Project Lead the Way, which is an education summit. Also, Pizza Miss starts on the 23rd, and I'm going to be filming a new show in Los Angeles in October as well. It's also the election time, which just takes up a lot of my brain. And also, I've been doing some campaign events with Montana folks who are running for office here because it all matters. I hate how much it matters. Also, John, like a year ago, I started following this guy named David Silva who used to work in the toy industry, but then quit to make scientifically accurate dinosaur figures. His work is absolutely gorgeous. And I was like, you know who has a prehistoric life show that they produce with PBS? Me, not me, complexly. So I told the Eons team that it would be amazing if they collaborated with David on a figurine. And then I ran away uh, because that wasn't my job. And now it's maybe gonna be real. There's a campaign on Backer Kit right now to make these beautiful woolly mammoths and hopefully also maybe some other proboscideans. They are huge and there are stretch goals that I desperately want to be real, but we can't make any of this unless we reach the goal. Like it's a legit Kickstarter where the molds are too expensive to make if we don't sell a certain number of them. I think this is very exciting and also kind of scary. So if you think a scientifically accurate woolly mammoth might be up your alley. Also Crash Course Religions is coming out, which is a you thing, not a me thing, but I'm still thinking about it a lot. We're rebranding awesome some coffee club as Keats & Co, a coffee and tea brand, and the tea is so freaking good, and the reviews are starting to roll in. That's exciting and scary. Meanwhile, I still love hosting SciShow and Tangents. I've uploaded like three videos to Hank's channel this week, and this seems like a lot, but honestly, I am having a lot of fun. Also, the Complexly Learnathon ends today. Complexly is an exciting and stressful thing in my life. We are not launching a streaming service. But if you want to pretend like we are and give us $60 for a year of Complexly, you can do that. Because everybody works so hard at Complexly to try and make it work and it's always happening on razor thin margins. And that's stressful. But at the moment, like, it's a good stressful. So if I try to hold it all in my head, it does scare me. And if I look at it from outside of myself, that seems like something a person shouldn't be doing. But I am 44 years old. And what I know is that this behavior isn't a problem for me if things are going okay. It only becomes a problem when two or three of the things start to go wrong at the same time, and I simply can't fix things faster than they are breaking. That is when the roots start to get tugged up and I regret every decision I've ever made. Have you ever regretted every decision you've ever made? Because it's happened to me like a few times. And I know that that could happen like at any time, which does keep me, you know, worrying, I think, an appropriate amount. But here's what's up. I'm trying to figure out what I like about life because I only get so much of it to live. And I do like being out in the storm, a certain amount. I like to walk out onto the sidewalk and let it push me around until trees start to fall down and then I want to go inside. And I want to understand that because I don't want to let my expectations of how I should feel limit my ability to feel how I actually feel. Especially if how I actually feel is like excited and interested and curious and passionate and in, in community with others, even if that also comes along with being you know, pretty stressed sometimes. And again, the Learnathon ends today. Please support the work these wonderful people do. John, I will see you on Tuesday. I bet they'll run it through the weekend. Just saying, if you didn't watch it on Friday, if it's Saturday, I bet they'll still take your money. Complexly.com slash Learnathon.